Hello, and welcome to Lecture 2 of Motion in a Straight Line in Phys 1104. We're going to be focusing on not just motion in a straight line, but motion at constant velocity, and we're going to use that to talk more about position and displacement, and also speed. We won't quite make it as far as velocity. I want to point out a few things about positions and displacements. First of all, positions, we already know, point from the origin to the location of the object, whereas a displacement always points from some initial location to some final location. And the other thing is that we think displacements are going to be more useful to us because when we move our coordinate system, all our position vectors change, but our displacements don't. We've already seen that it makes sense working graphically that the displacement is the final position minus the initial position. Let me just convince you that that also makes sense working algebraically. So first I'm going to draw in the displacement vector. We know it points from the initial location to the final location. And now let me read it off. It's minus 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4. 4 i hat and plus 1 2 that's what i get reading it off now notice 2 i hat minus 6 i hat is minus 4 i hat and 5 j hat minus 3 j hat is 2 j hat and so we can see that we can just do subtraction algebraically the way we know we should, and we get the correct displacement. You're going to be calculating displacements over and over again throughout this course, so you'd better practice. So here is an object and its initial and final position, and find its displacement.